Hey there guys, what's up? Welcome back to another reaction on the channel. Today is a special reaction. We're going to be reacting to Matt Pat's final game theory. I've already seen his final style theory, his final food theory, his final film theory, and now the big one, his final game theory. His final theory of all time. Man, I discovered Matt Pat through his FNF theory, that first one he did in 2021 and I've been following him since. I haven't known him for that long, but it still sucks because if, I feel like I've known him for years now and I've only known him since like 2021. Yeah, it kind of sucks that he has to step down, but it's for the better causes because he couldn't do this forever. He's 30, he has a wife and kid, he needed to retire at some point, and he definitely left a legacy on the uh, platform of YouTube. So, um, yeah, this will premiere in about 60 seconds, so I'll check back with you guys when the countdown is over and stuff like that. I'll, I'll check back with you guys. A few moments later. Mad Pat's final game theory. Oh, not the classic intro. Oh, man. Oh, all the old intros. The one with Sonic and then Mario jumps on him and then Eggman's faster because... We all know. And then the modern intro, let's go. Man, they just combine all the intros. Man. Alright, let's see what Mappa has for one final time. Internet, welcome to game Hello, Matt Pat. Where that is the last time that I'll be saying those words yep. officially on this channel. Yep. Loyal theorists, how do you say goodbye? I don't know, honestly. Ago, I made you this promise. Do you want to know more about the games you love without having to put in any work of your own? Well, now you can play and learn. <laughs> That's right, Webover. Sorry, I just we had to quickly type something in the chat to show that I was there. Gaming's tangential learning experience. Man, well, like I said, Webover's I only know I've only watched him for like two or three years, but this still hits hard. Yeah, yeah. Good thing he sent that like a month ago. It prepared us. Equipment. We've also spent the last 10 weeks together knowing that this day was going to come, right? Yeah. So I really feel like I've gotten my farewell tour. I've mm -hmm. hatchet, yeah. rekindled friendship. Yeah. I made sweeping videos about the state of... Yep, I, I love those those meta theories. theories. And the tank <laughs> episode was really I cool. Heritage. I made Disney mad at me one final yep. time, which, you know, felt appropriate. Got I, I really don't like... General, um, I really don't like uh, AI being, being the one to replace my job as an animator. So thank you, Matt, for throwing our weirdness. Yeah, how are we supposed to? to remind you that it's not officially goodbye, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm dying. Exactly, exactly. It's more of a see you later. I'm mm -hmm. still gonna be doing plenty of stuff. Like I'm already booked. He's just not going to be the head of the channels. GT Live, yeah, he's still going to be on GT Live. He's still gonna be making uh, GT Live. He's gonna be. Heck, I'm mm -hmm. already slated to do the Jacksepticeye podcast, right. the Ludwig podcast. Right. There's a collaboration I'm doing with Shape Frillis Production. Oh. There's the FNAF musical over on Random Encounters. Like, mm -hmm. I will be doing a lot. And I'll make sure to check out as much as I can doing all uh, if I have time. I'm usually channel. very busy but editing and animating. There are actually two ways that you can do it. Normally, I'd say something yeah. like, oh, you can follow me on Twitter, but uh, we all know that there's like a grand yep. total of zero people who want to be over on that platform. So instead, <laughs> I decided Lol. to make you this. I feel like everybody who's followed me on Twitter are either bots or they don't, they just, I don't think anybody genuinely who subscribed to my channel went to follow my Twitter. Yeah, I, I saw that wesmappa.com. I was very confused. I put my email in there. Yeah, yeah, from your theories. Mm -hmm. That's not deal with it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna be spamming you with updates or anything. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, so like the Toby Fox newsletter, right? Okay, something like that, like the Toby Fox one. That I'm also subscribed to the Delta Run Undertale one. to be a way to let you all know what I'm up to directly in a way that isn't gonna be subject to filtering algorithms, you know? And to kick things off, this week, I'll be selecting a hundred random emails that sign up to get personalized letters. And from that point forward, once or twice a week, I'll continue pulling a handful of emails Oh really? Okay. It'll be a fun way to stay in touch. Yeah. Long story short, make sure you bookmark it since you never know what might happen. Okay. But, yeah. Um, all right. Enough stalling. Back to the question at hand. Uh huh. How do you say goodbye? Well, I, I mean, you've you already have done that, but yeah. Where it began. This. This title. A game, a game theory. theory mm -hmm. About game theory. Did you a game tier about game, game theory. theory isn't just a nerdy YouTube show. It's okay. also a nerdy economics concept. 
Wow. If that's news to you, I honestly can't believe yeah. it. Yeah. At this point, we've created enough It's a business, lives, I mean. We've merited our own disambiguation tag yep. on Wikipedia for game theory searches. Yep. In all seriousness, for the first five it's years... The fact that you're on Wikipedia shows that you made it big. And Mega Mind 2 is not on Wikipedia. <laughs> screenshotting their textbooks, freaking out when they mm -hmm. got to the episode on game... It's not an episode, it's a chapter. When they got through the chapter on game theory, yep. being like, oh my gosh, dude, did you know that you were in this thing? And yeah, wow. Yeah, we definitely did. The pun, believe it or not, was intentional. In fact, mm -hmm. Steph and I knew my, from the my teacher, beginning... My economics what teacher wanted to teach us about the economic game about... theory, and he told us that when he searched on YouTube, he kept, he kept getting this Matt Pat guy coming over and over again. I was just you laughing in my seat. If you've ever seen the movie Love Actually, there's nope. actually this opening monologue in it that goes a little something like this. What is it? We live in a world of hatred and greed. Yep. But I don't see that. It oh. seems to me that love is everywhere. Really? If you look for it, you'll find that love actually is all around. Now you just mm. gotta replace the word love with game theory, and you basically got it. Oh, we live in a world of and greed. But, but I don't, I don't see, see that. that. Seems Maybe to me that theory theory is everywhere. Is everywhere. <laughs> you'll, you'll, find you'll find it. Find theme, theme theory is actually it is all around. All around. Who would have suspected yep. that English acting megastar and recent Oompa Loompa Hugh Grant would be making mm. a guess? I still need to watch Wonka. Truly. Truly, we have spared no expense for this one. And not only I need to. I'll watch the original, really. I'll, uh, the original Chocolate Factory, and then the new Wonka. Yeah, I know. And that is I've already seen that one with Clearly, Johnny Depp. Yeah, it was weird. For the grand finale. So you know what? Let's not beat around the bush mm -hmm. anymore, my friends. Let's make you masters of the universe mm -hmm. and reveal how, whether you like it or not, Ooh. you all are mm -hmm. theorists for life. Yeah. Come on. Uh, this way. I'm. I'm coming. I'm coming, Matt. Ah, jeez, don't don't rush me. Yeah. We're moving off the couch. I, I said I'm coming. That's how you know it's a big deal. Let's go. Yeah. At its core, game theory. So we're going around strategy. the house. So we gamers, we understand strategy, but what exactly is game theory specifically? Mm -hmm. Well, to understand that, you have to go back to the original game theorist, not me. Not you. This guy. This guy. Oh, right here. okay. He might not have himself the red letter jacket. <laughs> or the cool I like the button. dictionary so pronunciation there. A crater on the moon named after himself. So really? I'll let you decide who has the bigger flex there. This guy right here <laughs> I is mean, you, you, you can John Von Neumann, and he was every John Von Neumann. I'm day. sure I've heard and of him. Neumann theory or something. Like this guy was a key player in the invention of the digital computer. Yep. He helped with the discovery of the structure of yep. DNA. Yep. Even the creation of yep. key components for Oppenheimer's Manhattan. Yep. Project. Everything. You know, the Matt the Christopher Nolan is, movie where goes big to him. Things go big booms. But perhaps Boom. his biggest claim to fame was game theory. The idea. Yeah, the economic theory. Where there are two or more people. Mm -hmm. or players in this case you can model out a game that'll help you find the best outcome oh have you ever played rock paper scissors and thrown out rock as the first hand because uh -huh. you know statistically most people choose their first move to be scissors or maybe you picked paper because the last three moves have been rock yep. and they're obviously going to be thrown rock again well congratulations that is game, game theory. theory in action <laughs> he got a medal of freedom for that wow well, it just goes to show don't let your dreams just be dreams kids sometimes getting an mm -hmm. honorary medal is a lot <laughs> thing. in short game theory is the study of strategic choice. It's okay. Math that tells you what people are gonna do because what, the way my teacher was explaining it, I didn't understand it at all. Scenarios, the prisoners dilemma. Prisoners the two dilemma. accomplices have just committed a crime, and they're both given the chance to narc on the other one. Oh. If they both deny the crime. Well, they both get a short prison. Sentence. Okay, if that's one cool. If one denies the crime and the other rats him out, the narc walks free while his buddy is stuck in prison for a long time. Ah. And if they both confess, they both get a medium sentence. They okay. Can the okay. Well, comes here in a nice, neat, mathy looking square. And while man, that is. Uh, a Venn diagram, if ever not a Venn diagram, the <laughs> mat just a math square. Venn diagram is totally different. They trust each other by the math. Both of them narc on each other. Oh. And as a result, getting medium amount of prison time. Or if that all is too complicated and hypothetical, over in England, they mm -hmm. turn the whole thing into a game show where they say the word balls. <laughs> golden balls. Welcome to golden balls. Golden balls. Golden balls of riches. Twelve balls. My balls are all golden. My balls are golden. The, I'm not gonna censor because there's t context here at least. Balls, balls, balls. Why am I bringing all this up? Well, game theory is more than just wads of cash mm -hmm. jammed into a bunch of balls. Someone yeah. should tell Mr. Beast that I just discovered his next video. <laughs> yeah. Has very real consequences for the world. Back when the U.S. and USSR were on the brink of atomic annihilation, mm -hmm. the principles of we all know that war. Both sides reach an agreement to slowly disarm Thank goodness. If you want to know more about. No! Oh yes. And honestly, I can't really improve on it. So thanks for mm -hmm. doing all the research for my final. <laughs> Lamo. If you want an example that's a bit closer to home, though, mm -hmm. YouTube. 
YouTube, Good old platform, my it. favorite See, social YouTube media. YouTube as a platform is just a bunch of zeros and ones, right? Yeah. But YouTube as a community, it's a network of people mm -hmm. constantly trying to make strategic decisions. Yep. Creators are players who are more or less rational yeah, the people creators. making videos that'll get you to watch yep. and like and, and some comment and subscribe. Comment and subscribe. You, I've been trying to do that, guys. Help me hit 1k subs by liking and subscribing. experience by finding the thing that's most satisfying to watch. And the people who run, or at least have run YouTube in the past, yep. shout out to Todd, Jake, Neil, Ooh. Ernest, Meg, Ariel, Susan, and David, Fede, Vader, Stephanie, and These all... they're all in a strategic game okay. to keep the creators and viewers happy, mm -hmm. also figuring out the best possible outcome for YouTube as a company. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm understanding the business. <laughs> I need to monetize my channel. That's how you get decisions like use bright green text. Bright green text. Yep. To see a dark gaming thumbnails and more likely to get clicks. Launch shorts. Yep. Means to counterattack against TikTok. Do a video on something that's not trending so you can stand out from the pack, or maybe a lead in so you're suggested against the algorithm. I mean, that's why like half of my content is currently like digital circus stuff because. Digital. I know. I'm. Whenever I upload something about digital circus, it instantly gets views. It's like half half Sonic, half Digital Psychos on my channel right now. Or oh, just Glitch Productions. But yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Mr. Beast, 200 million. You deserve it. This is just an aside that I learned about earlier this week. Apparently, there's a Chrome extension that allows you to do exactly what I just described. What's it called? Matt Patifies your YouTube feed by putting green text on like every thumbnail. Really? We have reached the peak. Well, I need to see. I, one, I need really to see like this. this. Where it's Link and saying "Mommy's hungry." That's just traumatic on a whole nother level. <laughs> one that I saw circulating online. Okay. Ryan Gosling doing a puppy interview, and the title is "Birth of a Killer." <laughs> uh, there was another one that showed up on the subreddit. Afton's final death. Mm -hmm. Smash. <laughs> I gotta say, I am proud of the mark. <laughs> <I believe. laughs> But so, yeah. Right. YouTube is game theory. Sure, that's sure. Right. It's interesting. And Matt, people have been saying that they want Matt Pat to become right? the CEO. Why am I spending so much time talking about all of this in my final episode? Mm -hmm. Well, because like I said, game theory can help in every strategic interaction that you have. Mm. And it's produced a literal strategy guide on the best way to live out your life. Tried and tested by all our grandfather theorists. Wow. But to truly understand that, we have to go back to where it all began. A glorified PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Web yeah. Universe, allow me to introduce you to lights, please. Uh, PowerPoint. The He's really game. putting everything into this, this final theory. As glorified PowerPoint slides, and we're ending as glorified PowerPoint slides. Here's mm. the TLDR of this one. The trust game was originally just named the Computer Tournament by a guy named Robert Axelrod. Okay, so what's Billy it about? Not the most creative with his <laughs> I mean, yeah. Basically, this was the prisoner's dilemma or the golden oh. ball thing, except here, there was one crucial difference. Mm. They're not just playing the game once, they are literally playing, playing it. it hundreds oh. of times, repeating it over and over again to see what strategy okay. end up winning the most of yeah. a longer period. This then gives us a model that's shockingly closer to real life. Okay. Because here, most of the time, you're not just thinking about what you have to do to win. Oh. Game. You have to actually think about the Oh, okay, of your okay. I understand. The more I understand. About the, future, the more they're willing to cooperate, uh -huh. they don't want to screw themselves over down the road. Uh, yeah, yeah. Again, for details on that experiment, check out Derek mm -hmm. Barry Cassium's video where he talks about all of that, including having an interview with the game's creator. Okay. A very cool video. I also borrowed his uh, convention. <laughs> so thanks for the latter and the idea. Man. Hey, Derek. You can also watch Dr. Trevor Bassett's okay. video on the topic or, you know, the various TED Talks that are all about this oh, experiment. Okay. We'll link to all of those down in the description below. But just to jump to the big conclusion here, the best strategy to mm -hmm. win it big boils down to four key points. Yep. Number, Number one, one, be cooperative. Okay. Lead with trust. Assuming that the person you're playing with is your enemy right off the bat, yep. it's not going to serve you well. Trust in I love how I love how uh, the last final theory on game theory is literally about the concept of game theory. It's it's so creative, it, man. Matt Pat, he, he's man. Oh my God, Matt Pat. Being uh, forgiven. Don't don't be a misunderstanding. My good opinion once lost is lost forever. <laughs> that is a failing indeed. You tell him, girl. You are exactly. Tell him, girl. Speaking some game theory. Slay. <laughs> sure, it hurts to have your trust she a baddie. She. She a baddie. She. She. She's a ten. She. She. She a baddie. What was that ice pass song? The trust game showed that she a baddie. She knows she a ten. I T G I R L. And lastly, it's important. Anyways, y'all saw that one Zubal I did with that song, right? But anyways, I digress. That's then when mistrust starts to breed. 
by being honest, it breeds honesty in others. It allows you to build on that trust mm -hmm. over well, time. Well, I can't say that I'm exactly forgiving. I try my best to forgive what I can. But I am definitely honest to a fault. Like, I am so blunt. I just say things as it is. And, like, everybody loves me for how honest I am. But at the same time, they say that I'm, like... Honest to, I'm honest to the point where it actually hurts my reputation because I, 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 I'm too truthful. Like everybody tells me that I'm too truthful, I can't, I, I, I can't, I, so I'm too, I'm too honest to a fault, I'm too blunt, I just say things as it is, I don't even try to shoot that code. very solid real life example. YouTube. YouTube is a positive sum game. Mm -hmm. It means that more than one person can win. And in fact, yep. a lot of times, the more others win, the more you can win too. When I was just starting off, I Man. was so mad and scared when Vsauce 3 released this video. How fast can so Yo, Sonic Mansion in the final theory. Let's go! My favorite character. My favorite franchise. YouTube's top subscribed channels just pouring in on my territory of gaming science. Mm -hmm. It was like they were going to steamroll me. They were going to steal my audience away. So I did a video Video where I tried to stake my claim, and thus Sonic is slow. Ooh. Was born. Hello, internet. Well, this is probably what, still one of the most controversial Sonic theories, because like everybody in the Sonic community is like, MatPat hates Sonic because he's always against Sonic in his theories. Only one of his, only one of his uh, theories were with Sonic for Sonic. Except for one thing, it's wrong. Yeah. My voice in that. Oh, I'm so proud that I finally hit puberty, like, yep. seven years into making these videos. Anyway, you can tell that I'm super salty in this one, mm -hmm. right? I'm asserting that I did it first. I'm citing the dates. I am literally trying to one-up Vsauce 3. Yeah. But then something interesting happened. What happened? I got views from Vsauce. I Ooh. saw that their video and mine were actually helping each other. Ooh. I was so afraid of me losing a year of hard-earned progress. But in reality, I wasn't just operating on my own island anymore. True. By unintentionally cooperating with each other, we had just created our own little micro oh. of science content. There were clearly enough views. Okay, oh, yeah, it's so it's like an unintentional crossover. Home this one point, that YouTube is a place where all ships can rise. Mm -hmm. Leading with trust goes a long way. From inviting someone to collab on your channel, yep. to comparing notes on production because it can help you both. Mm. You actually see this kind of cooperative game theory in action with content houses. Oh, content houses. I've heard of content houses before. I've never delved into it, though. On the flip side, there are creators who haven't done a good job of leading with trust. Oof. And have approached YouTube as a zero-sum game. E. A place where there can only be one winner. Uh, guess what? It didn't yeah, work. it doesn't work. In 2020, work. a few of the top beauty creators tried to take each other down. Mm. Encouraging viewers not to watch each other. Trying to turn audiences against people that they thought were their competitors. Mm. It was for the clout, it was for the views, and it backfired. <laughs> nah, so bro, jit tripping. Ain't doing this again. Games. And the beauty vertical, which was once a main pillar Man. of YouTube's earliest days, never truly... Bruh. By working together, stonks. Lights, <laughs> but by thinking Not that you stonks. can only win when other people lose, well, man, stonks is the best business meme I've ever seen. The best economics meme. Kind of sad. Let's move on. Yep. If you don't want to listen to mathematicians or YouTube meta analysis, oh, so this is the shorts. Game yep, the shorts. The uh, green screen. Is a testament to those four lessons of game theory, the nerdy economics concept. Mm. Every person who's built this channel has led with trust. Yep. Ronnie. Oh man, rest in peace. On the back burner, so he could dedicate his time to editing game theory. Rest Trusting in peace, Ronnie. That we would be able to succeed more together. He helped the show to truly become what I had always mm -hmm. dreamed it would be, and I honestly wish that he could be here to this day. Man, rest in peace. I saw that video losing the battle. The man, it made me cry. Goomba and Drake and Lee and Ryder and all. Yep, I love all of the members. Up with us in lieu of working on their own channels. Mm -hmm. uh, Steph. She left being a consultant at a real company uh -huh. in the medical field on the belief that by cooperating, we could actually make And they did. Really they did. Uh, Jason, uh, who is actually... Right oh, really? Uh, Jason, <laughs> Jason, come out, come out, Jason. You blame all the time on uh, GT Live. Yeah, yeah, uh, he, he loves throwing Jason the blame. Employee after me and Steph. Oh. He jumped in there when all we had was a kitchen table Woo. and a cat that he was constantly allergic to. <laughs> and, uh, Sudafed, Man, you have this piano is not helping me try not to network cry, network. I swear. And, and <laughs> <attack. laughs> you have yeah. taken so many pills mm. over here. <laughs> but all I mean, I already cried with that goodbye in video, but yeah. yeah. No, good mm -hmm. medical pills, not any I'm sure. gonna put uh, something silly behind them with this green screen the in the editing process. I'll put something silly. All the channels for years, like this man is the unsung hero of everything you've probably ever watched across any of the channels. Without him, mm. without you, without you, 
Man. Many videos we can make. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, please don't make me okay? cry. Not for you again. Thank God. Matt Pat, please. I don't want to cry tonight. Please. Uh, you know, friendship please. first. Ugh. But also working together. Mm -hmm. Create awesome stuff, right? And if you're talking about unsung heroes on this channel, mm -hmm. there is one man who Jason also deserves a call out, and his name is Yossi. Yossi? He is our audio wizard. He is the man oh. who I have trusted with my voice for the better part of nine years. He has had he's to the, suffer he's through the, more oh, hours sound of my voice wow. than anyone else in the world. I am so sorry, Yossi. <laughs> I am so sorry for all the burps and weird edits and weird diatribes mm -hmm. and jump scares that Ali has given me over the years. Was Yossi a pro when he first joined up with us? No. no. But you know what I, he, was I, <laughs> he was willing to learn. And I've trusted oh him. my god, this is so bittersweet. I like, I love, I love it, it's cute, but at the same time it's just sad. Monetized. Wow. Crazy to think about. You don't know Dan Levitt. Dan Levitt? Uh, Dan was another one. He was the first who actually saw potential. Oh. And in these channels as a whole, offering to become my manager, even though he had never wow. been a YouTuber before. He just jumped in with two feet and said, Hey, I've mm. never gotten a brand deal in the past, but I think I could do it for you. And he did. Wow. And he got me literally hundreds more. He has his own management company. Man. And he manages some of the biggest sports creators on all of YouTube. <sighs> I can say with complete confidence that. Dang, this Game Theory, my the legacy, my, totally my God. And. His career and his company would have looked totally different. Yo, Pokemon Tournament, my favorite Pokemon game. Businesses parallel to each other, right next to each other, using cooperative game theory. No, legit, legit, it's my favorite Pokemon game. But yeah. Good decisions on YouTube, and I trust him to make good decisions as my manager. And we both. Hey, floss. But perhaps the most important person in all of these trusting relationships is you. You guys. Oh my God, Matt, please don't. You Matt Pat, Pat, don't, have been don't, the best don't. Example of game theory. Matt in Pat, please don't stop. Don't stop. I don't want Every to. Every time you click on one of these videos, mm. you are leading with trust. Yeah. You are saying, you know what? I'm oh my God! Oh. Especially on those episodes that are covering topics that you've never even heard of. And on my end, I've always tried my best to mm. fulfill on that promise and make sure that your trust pays off by delivering a great. It paid off, my guy. It paid off. It paid off a lot. Video. And yeah, there have been plenty of times where I've missed the mark. Yeah. Where you weren't happy about a topic or where I said something wrong. No, I've never been angry at MatPat. I have never, never. Maybe it's because so I haven't known him for, exactly for like that long again, 2021, but still. I... You showed me that I had made a mistake. More oh yeah, you did that. The Undead Hill drama. Gave me a chance to learn and grow as a but we've done in the past, okay? That's in the past. We all won. Look at this thing that we made. Oh my god. Together. Oh sorry, nope. I hit my table. No. Anyone else? I mean there's three mm. of them here in the room. <laughs> <laughs> the uh. You guys, you've always been the most important member of this team. Oh! Oh. Now, as new hosts step in, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm ready for the new generation. Thank you for bringing me back. I almost broke down into tears, but yeah, I'm ready for the new generation. But I hope that you approach oh. the same sense of cooperation. Don't worry, I already love all of them. I love Tom, I love I love Amy, I love Lee, I love Santa, I love all of them already. They they're all cool, Matt Pat. You don't have to worry. It'll never leave. I really especially Tom, I, I really like Tom. We are all game theory. Which Yeah. Honestly is why I thought it was fitting for you guys mm. to be the one to say this. But hey, that's just a theory. That's just a theory. It's just, just a theory. theory. Just a theory. That's just, just a theory. Oh, theory. theory. Blast this mess. Thanks for <laughs> But hey, that's just a theory. Just a theory. Just a theory. Oh my god, this is so this is so heartwarming. Just a theory. Thanks for Man, I wish I could send my own video, but you know, I didn't have time. Just a theory. Just a theory. Just a theory. This is so Monica. Theory. This is so oh. Theory. 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 That's just a theory. That's just. Man, this this orchestral version of Science Blaster playing. Theory. Just a theory. Just a theory. A style theory. Oh. Theory. A film theory. A game theory. The new generation. Matt. No, not the code. That you. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> I got broke me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> that cult <call> broke me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Where to? I got something I gotta do. What? What? Okay. Oh my.
my god, that the code thing broke me. <laughs> oh, this song is a bop, though. I'll leave a link to the song in the description, guys. I'll I'll, I'll link to this video. I'll link to the song in the description. This, oh my god, Matt Pat is driving into the sunset just like he said he would. Ugh. All right, I'm putting my glasses back on. I had to take off my glasses. I'm a I'm actually crying. What the hell? Yeah. All right. So what's this? All right, Matt Pat. What's the next thing? What's your next step? What are you doing next? Aside from the TRS channels, cause man, man. All right, who's this? I've been expecting you. Whoa. Uh, we have much to discuss. Is he entering like YouTuber heaven right now? <laughs> okay, so post reaction Sonic Final One, he had to tell you that me is big idiot dum dum brain because I didn't realize that that was the mother loving Scott Cotton right there that he met, the creator of FNAF. I just I didn't realize it because it looked nothing like that old picture that Matt uses all the time. But dang, man, he f Matt finally met Scott Cotton face to face in real life. I'm so happy for him. Lore Keeper ending. The end where you find all the endings. Oh come on, did. Of course it my pal would put multiple endings for his final theory. He wants me to suffer and look through as theories myself. So <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna wait until someone finds all of the endings. I'm gonna watch it then guys. I don't I don't I don't have the patience, but oh my god, that was a, that was a freaking trip. That was a mother loving trip. Oh my god. Guys, oh 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 my god, <laughs> not me getting my own video in my recommender, but guys <sighs> Oh, this is. Oh, yeah. I am ready for the new generation, but Mappa, thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. And as I said multiple times when he said he was coming, he was uh, not coming. He was, uh, you know, retiring. As I said multiple times, even as I commented here, thank you, Matt Pat. It wasn't just a theory, it was an experience. It was an entire experience. 2021 to now, I am so grateful because 2021, the world was still like coming back from the pandemic and, and you know, it was like dark times. Not as dark as 2020 for sure, but MadPat was a light. It was definitely a light in the dark world. MadPat, I wish you good luck on your next steps as you continue to do more stuff beyond the terrorist channels. And it really pains my heart that you have to leave, but I understand and I'm happy that you finally get the rest you deserve. And I am ready for the new generation. I love Tom, I love Lee, I love I love Santi, I love Amy, I love all of the new hosts already. And they're gonna fit in wonderfully, they're gonna take over and everything's gonna go well, Mad Pat. But that wouldn't change the legacy that you made. I'll always remember it for you, Mad Pat. I love you, man. I love you. Thank you guys for watching my reaction to Mad Pat's final theory. I'm sorry, this is the first time I broke down on the channel and cried. I hope I wasn't too cringe with it. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.